Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. It's Saturday. So I am here with my exciting weekend plans. Yarn. <laughs> I was thinking of cleaning up the garage a bit and going to the recycling center, but it rained for a lot of the afternoon yesterday and then all night. So the recycling center is probably pretty muddy. So I, I said, okay, maybe Tuesday. Maybe I'll go on Tuesday. So I get to stay home today and work on crafts and do some canning and do some laundry. So it's not gonna be all fun and games. It's about 11.30 something, 11.38. So far today, I've already finished three projects Three small projects, scrap yarn projects. Finished three projects. Um, typed up my to-do list and I forgot two things. Okay, let's add pizza sauce and beans. Yep, got a lot of green beans. I, do, I need to do some canning. Can some green beans. Um, where was I? <coughs> Ichabod. Ichabod is what we say when something just happens with no one there. The door just opened by itself. So, must have been Ichabod. Ichabod Crane. Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Okay. It's 11.38 and I still haven't finished my coffee. Okay. Finish three items. Because you know I said yesterday that... As long as I had that scrap bag out, I was going to go to town on it. So I made a little, an angry, I made an angry octopus. His eyes are sort of wonky, but he's angry. Sometimes when you're angry, your eyes get a little wonky. And I played yarn chicken with the blue yarn and I lost. So he has nine tentacles, if you care to count. Three are blue, six are green, and he has a green underbelly. Maybe that's why he's angry, because he's not like the rest of the octopus. Octopi. And then I played another game of yarn chicken, and this time I won. What's that white spot? Hmm. I made a little blue micro octo. These... I usually have a basket on my craft table to sell them for $4 each because they take about, they take me maybe 15 to 20 minutes to make and they use up scrap yarn and whoop, get them out the door. I think at the last show, I think I sold like five of them. So it's like getting a $20 sale. Yeah, you sold five little octopus. It's, it's cool. Then I used up I finished off the pink yarn in my scrap bag and made a pretty good dent in the gray by making a scrappy snake. This is my own pattern that is in my Etsy shop and my Ravelry shop. You know, I've got it so you can put the curves in to make it look more snake-like. I probably should have put a little more pink at the end because I think I had a little bit of pink left over. I didn't totally finish off the skein, but I wanted to stay pretty true to the stripe pattern that I had established. I had more of the gray yarn than the pink, so I did four rows of gray then three rows of pink. And I think it turned out pretty cute. Let's see. So those were the three projects I finished. I did go down to the basement and pull yarn. I'm going to start a Boggy Creek blanket. Somewhere in the closet here, I do have a blanket that I made before that's not big enough for Boggy Creek, but I'm going to do border around it and make it big enough. But starting one from scratch, I pulled this. It's a Ferris wheel in greens, blues, and purples. And I pulled some purple. I've got three skeins of this purple. 
So I'm going to put these two together and do a striped blanket. And since I only have I only have this much yarn. So I think I'm going to go for pretty much a square blanket and then put a white panel at the top, crochet and applique, like a, a, a cat applique, a cat face. Put that on there like that's the pillow and then do a border around the whole thing to make it look like a sleepy kitty on the pillow. I have a pattern from, I think it's Sweet Potato 3 for the sleeping teddy bear blanket that I made for my granddaughter, my youngest granddaughter. And um, it would be a variation on that. So I will link that in the description once I get around to editing this video. So now that I've done my fair share of scrappiness, this is down to, what was it 4.1? It's down to I think 2.6. And this guy, this guy is the biggest one in there. He's going to be the next one to go down. I'm thinking a little dragon or a dinosaur or a gecko or an axolotl. It looks reptilian to me. Yes. How many? Have you ever heard before? This yarn looks reptilian. So. I was a bad girl last night. Oh, dear. You know, I keep saying, I'm not going to buy any more kits until I finish the ones I have here on hand. I still have three, three Timu kits. Like this one, there's a set of sunflower coasters. Oh, the glare, sorry. It's sunflower coasters in a little basket. Um, I think, I think I have a plant or another coaster thing. I have a sloth planter. So I've got three kits that I could do. No, I can't stick to that. I had a moment of weakness last night. I had redeemed an Amazon card. From a points program that I'm in. I'm in the My Points program where you get points for taking a daily poll or clicking through on videos or shopping or playing games. And I have recently accumulated a bunch of points from playing games, especially the one game that I had to remove from my tablet because I was playing it too much. But I ended up with enough points to get a $50 Amazon gift card. And it was delivered yesterday. Well, I couldn't just sit there with, with Amazon dollars sitting in my account. I had to go buy something. So, I think I got like three or four Amazon kits, Amazon crochet kits, that eventually I will review. They're supposed to be here on Wednesday. I don't know when I will get around to doing them because I do have a craft show next week and I knew, do need to get some organizing done for that. So we shall see. Sometime in the future, I, I will be reviewing some Amazon kits. <sighs> but today, uh, I, I have on my to-do list, I need to spend half an hour on my Whip It 924 project. That's Lori's challenge for this month. And I gotta finish Got to finish. I need to do some um, laptop work, updating videos, and putting that Amazon purchase from yesterday into my spreadsheet. I got to get some stuff on the plus side instead of all these purchases I'm making. I may be making some more kombucha today. I have to check my kombucha and see if it's ready to go to the next fermentation. When I was shopping, was that yesterday? 
yes it was Friday I got some blueberry pomegranate juice and I'm going to try to make blueberry pomegranate kombucha laundry oops that one should have come off with the last where to put my pen where to put my pen that comes off and I typed that up already I do need to get back to editing Etsy listings. I have a lot of stuff that I've made recently that hasn't made it up to Etsy. And I need to get my listings up to date and fine tuned and ready for the Christmas shopping season. Yeah, and do canning. There's so many green beans out there. I made green beans for dinner last night. I made ranch style green beans. I had other stuff going into the oven um, I found these three veggie fries. They were parsnip, beetroot, and carrot. So we had very colorful fries, and we had some haddock. And I figured, okay, I'll just put the green beans in the oven with some ranch dressing mix and oil and toss them up and have ranch green beans. And I filled that pan up thinking, okay, I'm going to have enough extras for leftovers for like Saturday lunch. They sort of shrunk down when I cooked them. So we polished them off. No leftovers. But there's still a lot of green beans in the fridge. And my husband will probably go out and pick more today. And I need to do tomatoes. I think the easiest thing to do is going to be to make some pizza sauce. Because um, that I can just toss them in and cook them down and then put them through the food mill to get the skins out and add the spices. There you go. Um, other methods of canning pizza sauce take longer. And today I want quick and easy. Mm -hmm. Got the messy bun to get it done today. <sighs> I want to go play with yarn. But errands are calling. And the mailman just came. So I have to go see what's in the mail today. So, bye-bye.